Doom Eternal, the follow-up to the robust franchise reboot of 2016, is just about ready to unleash hell upon this Earth. This sequel adds in a slew of new features and freaks, face-shredding challenges, and fan service. Here are six things to look forward to in Doom Eternal. Doom 2016 didn't shove the plot down your throat. Yes, there was some fascinating lore buried in the Codex pages, but for most of us we just came, we saw, we ripped, we tore, roll credits. With Eternal, expect a richer narrative that's as fleshed out as the gore system. Now that Earth is at stake, the Slayer is going to be pulled from pillar to post by both the Legions of Hell and the Night Sentinels, a holy order that he's having creative differences with. You will bring down the Heaven's Wrath. Basically, you're going to get more drama, more plot twists, and more dialogue. Well, some dialogue. Are you looking for a black belt level challenge? Something to scratch that masochistic itch? Then you need to dive into the new master levels. Unreasonable combat remixes of areas you've seen in the campaign. Basically, the Feng Shui may look the same, but the energy has gone to hell in a whole new way. Where once there were grunts and living impaired fodder, now there'll be super heavies and roided up horrors from the tail end of Doom Eternal. Come in with your A game or you're going home as jibs. Doom Eternal's tough, but it isn't relentless, because now there's a mid-mission hub called the Doom Fortress. It's essentially Casa de Slayer, an orbital castle Greyskull. You get a comms relay for extra story, hidden power-ups, two fully sick gaming PCs, axes, axes, and a personal gym called the Ripatorium, though we prefer the Ternasium. The immortality you're given in that room will translate into mad tactical gains, and you can set up targeted workouts with your demonic gym partners, like Arm Day, or Chest Day, or even Face Day. The campaign now features a demonic corruption meter, a 10-slot bar that indicates your total completion of a level in Doom Eternal. Those five green sections are filled when you've dominated the combat encounters dotted about the map. The two pink segments are hidden gore nests that involve tightly timed challenges, and the three purple bars concern the finding of a Slayer Gate key and the opening of said hellaciously difficult arena. Seriously, they're mini ultra nightmares in their own right. You'd best go in loaded for shaved demon bear. Eternal has gone bigger across the board. Tons of guns, double the demon types, new ways to play, and it's also a bigger collectathon than ever. It's a kleptomaniac stream thanks to ability boosting sentinel crystals, rune perks, and weapon points for weapon mods. And that's not even factoring in the early carrot dangling of awesome cosmetic goodies, hidden rabbits, oodles of easter eggs, and an Excalibur of a gun to chase. Expect to be picking the bones of this beast for months. Case in point, the longevity provided by Battle Mode, Eternal's completely reworked multiplayer offering. It's a one Slayer vs. two demon scenario with the latter team being able to hell spawn on one of six unique maps as one of five demons. Be you a Revenant, Pain Elemental, or a Mancubus, you'll need to strategize and cleverly spawn obstacles if you ever hope to defeat a fully powered up Slayer. Doom Eternal launches on the 20th of March. For all the best gameplay tips and survival guides, be sure to keep your eye affixed here on IGN.